Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today we're gonna test various weapons against police anti-riot protection equipment. <laughs> Let me show you its features. Actually this consists of two pieces. One is a brand new polycarbonate shield, really really strong. And one is an authentic anti-riot helmet from German police. I think that was used until very recently. Both very sturdy material, clamped in so that they can't move too much, and we'll see how they fare. This shield and also the visor from the helmet are made from polycarbonate. It's the same material that I use for the Rambone slingshot, and it is darn near impossible to destroy it. It is so solid. My fellow YouTube colleague Adam Seladin has also tested various objects, like thrown objects and also like axes and so on against it, and it's really, really tough. So, this won't do anything to it. Adam has already tested plenty of uh, like close combat and throwing objects, like uh, throwing axes and the pickaxes and all this against it, and therefore I will be testing like distance shooters, but all of them legal to carry in Germany. Now don't get me wrong, it is illegal to take any of these weapons to a riot or to a demonstration at that purpose. Um, I'm not testing it to give people ideas how to fight against policemen. The opposite is true. I want to let the police know what they're up against so that they can probably, if we should find weaknesses in the equipment, find ways to enhance the situation. Now, of course, it is really dangerous to do these tests because this is so flexible that it will probably shoot everything that I use right back against me. And therefore, of course, I had to take safety precautions. And my safety precaution number one is this new shirt. I hope it's new enough so it protects me from the worst. <laughs> we will start by using a slingshot with regular double-layered bands and a 10 millimeter steel ball, pretty much what the demonstrants used in the 70s. And I'm fairly confident that they're not going to do anything against the polycarbonate shield. Okay. And... Wow. That was a nice ricochet. Okay, there is a very small dent here. But that's all that happened. So let's ramp up a bit. This is a Rambone with a triple layer slingshot band and a 20 millimeter steel ball. The same size that uh, I used in that little prank of mine from a few years back where I simulated that it would hit my head. But this time it could seriously happen because uh, this thing will shoot it back against me. It's a 20 millimeter steel ball. That was a full-on hit that actually did cause a dent in the shield, but of course no danger for the policemen. Next we will use one of the most dangerous ball shooting weapons I've ever seen. It's the new Raptor Expo from Shootech. Actually uh, this is, is using a double string with an embedded magnet to fire steel balls instead of arrows. It can also shoot arrows, but this one is now set up for the steel balls. It is really accurate because it has a peep sight adjustable of course and it shoots the 10 millimeter steel ball at an incredible 480 feet per second that's like approximately 150 meters per second it's really fast and super accurate let's see what it does to the shield the bow has been set to the maximum uh, strength of 80 pounds so it's not easy to draw but we want maximum damage It hit my ankle. <laughs> Pretty decent dent, but no penetration. Okay, it is safe to assume that no blunt object that we can shoot will ever damage that shield. So let's go on to the pointed ammo. And this actually is my repeating Cobra. And uh, a gentleman from Germany who actually normally does submarines, <laughs> he made 
a prototype of a production model that uh, is using aluminum and it's really accurate and quick to reloading but let's see if it is strong enough to harm the police shield which I don't think it will okay one more and one more Nope. While accuracy was fairly good, you can see that it didn't really cause any serious damage. Just a little notch three times. Ramping up again. This time we'll use the FX Airguns Verminator, actually outfitted with the arrow. In this version, where you cannot shoot pellets, but only arrows that glide over the barrel, it is legally a toy in Germany, so you can really carry it in public and shoot it in public if you want to. And let's see if the arrow that has 77 joules of energy can do damage to the shield. All I have to do to make it ready for shooting is cocking back the hammer spring. I think it sticks. Amazing, it did penetrate, but see, it penetrated the shield, but not long enough to really cause damage to the helmet. It didn't even touch the visor of the helmet, so even though it looks gruesome, the policeman still is safe. Probably has the shock of his life though. <laughs> I find it amazing that this thing, which I once called the most dangerous toy in Germany, <laughs> is actually able to penetrate a full-on brand new police shield. But of course, it still lacks a bit of power and therefore let's go over to a crossbow that has serious power even though it's a lot more clumsy to load. This is the strongest crossbow in my collection. Actually, it is made in Russia. I think it's discontinued for whatever reason, but I can assure you it has a lot of power and it shoots heavy bolts. If this thing can penetrate the shield, nothing can. Well, Nothing that I haven't made. <laughs> in order to cock it, you need to use this rope uh, cocking aid. Uh, so it's really clumsy and I'll spare you from watching me doing that. So I'll be right back. Okay, you can see how much force is in these arms. Wow. As you can see, this bolt penetrated a little deeper than the verminator arrow and it even dented you can probably see that through the glass here it even dented the um, visor a little bit so it is dangerous for the policeman but it didn't kill him it is time to bring out the homemade arsenal <laughs> so we have here my 916 joule arrow shooter and I'm using the same arrow that I used to penetrate the steel helmet from Bulgaria. And uh, it has a center punch hardened steel tip. And if that can't penetrate the setup, then nothing can. Pumped up to 300 bar. I have no more aiming system, so I'll go point blank. <laughs> and... Well, I think that policeman is dead. Not only did it crash right through the shield, but it went on through the visor of the helmet and also traveled through the wood and split it in the middle. Amazing, it crashed through the entire three pieces of wood and embedded itself through the leather into the wooden beam that holds my shed roof. And actually it is not really possible to get these arrows out at all. See how much friction they cause 
because they're jammed in so tightly in the tough material. And this, of course, well, I think I have to destroy the whole setup to get it out. These things are really solid. I mean, I'm totally impressed about how well protected policemen are. Even the strongest crossbows can't do anything. But if you are a policeman and you have to do service during a riot and someone comes running at you with this mixture of a, a plumber's nightmare and a homemade air gun, then I have one advice for you. Run. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Thanks and bye bye. This rifle has so much recoil that I decided to look what happened and see. <laughs> it's nothing anyway.